So we are here this morning in London with Team Taylor at the Breakfast Club talking all things bias in the recruitment process. First of all, for your company culture, it's really important for every single individual to feel valued. They need to feel like they have a sense of belonging. So they're able to contribute and creatively, they're able to collaborate and add to the business growth. There is ample evidence out there to show that having a diverse I think DEI is the outcome of focusing on what you want for the business and essentially I think you want the best people and if you want the best people it doesn't really matter where they come from, what they look like, but the value that they bring. It just makes business sense. It's just a matter of do you really want your business to grow and exist in 5 and 10 or 20 years from now. One story that I keep going back to is when I had to hire from my own team at Vivino and I wanted to challenge myself and my own biases so I did a completely case-based uh, solution where I asked all the candidates to do a case. I had no idea of gender or name or background. I saw absolutely nothing except how they solved the case. Based on that I took five people to interview and four of them I would never ever have actually selected if I had looked at their CV. My best salesperson used to be a car mechanic and I would never have hired him if we were focusing on like his core skills and his CV. But what we looked past was like his, his fundamental traits and natural personality that filtered into like why he was best for the job and that shows in the results. If you're not having an inclusive hiring process, you can miss out on a wide pool of candidates. You're also not going to be as appealing to candidates for the future as well. So it's important to remember, if you have an inclusive hiring process, you can reach more candidates, you can have a more diverse and inclusive culture. You can't have a good, solid recruitment process without considering d and I. We have to embed them in what we do, from the very beginning of attracting people all the way through to then starting in the business. These events are good so we can share contacts, we can share ideas, we can actually benchmark what we're doing against other organisations. It's really important to bring lots of different people together because it creates a sense of community and when we've got a sense of community people share best practice, ideas, you know I've learnt so much from just listening to other people on the panel. If we can talk more about the subject, share what's going well, what hasn't gone so well, that's where we're going to create change and when we create change that's when we like you know start seeing the difference and start seeing workplaces become a lot more diverse and people feel a lot more comfortable. Coming together like this and really sharing experiences is something that you cannot measure the value of. It's just invaluable.